Hello class, welcome to our session for today. Today we are going to discuss about the chain rule for anti-differentiation. So last time I showed you the concept, uh, the principle about uh, chain rule for anti-differentiation. So today, as promised, I will uh, give you some examples not to solve those uh, examples shown in the uh, video that talks about chain rule okay so we have here the examples I will start with the first one so first example if you are given uh, the integral of 2x times the square root of x squared plus 1 dx and what is or how are you going to solve this problem so as mentioned in the first video about this chain rule for anti-differentiation we cannot uh, multiply this 2x with this radical okay so what we are going to do now is to use the substitution but before we do that we are going to uh, rewrite this uh, part of the integrand in radical form into a form uh, with rational exponent okay so rearranging and rewriting this so we have integral of the square root of x squared plus 1 and times 2x dx so they're just the same class we're just uh, rearranging the position of 2x and also this part that is, that is a radical so they're just the same so there's no problem with that then after that uh, we can rewrite this in terms of rational exponent so x squared integral of x squared plus 1 raised to a power one half multiplied by 2x dx okay so from that uh, new expression we can see that our n is equal to one half and from here we can solve for n plus one which is equal to three half three half three halves sorry okay then from here we can let no, we can let our uh, we will use another va variable to represent this so we can let u be equal to x squared plus one then from this u we can find our derivative of u with respect to x which is equal to derivative of this x squared is 2x derivative of this one which is a constant so that is equal to 0 now our goal is to uh, find uh, this because we let this as our u so we can now rewrite this as integral of we let this equal to u right so we can write this as u then you just copy the exponent that is one half then times so we are going to replace this with something that contains u or du because we change this to u so it must be this part that contains the differential must be also a du all right so from this expression if you multiply both sides by dx or just cross multiply dx so we have here du is equal to 2x times dx right and if you look at the this one here this is uh, exactly this all right so we can replace this with the equivalent equivalent of this one which is equal to du okay so rewriting it here so we have instead of this so we replace this with du and now if you look at the result that is a power no? in a power form 
So we can use the power formula. So this is equal to using the power formula. So we have u to the n plus 1. Our n plus 1 is equal to 3 halves divided by n plus 1, which is 3 halves, then plus c. Okay? And from the rules of division of fractions, so we can rewrite this as 2 over 3 times u to the power 3 halves plus c. Then substituting the value of u, which is 2 third. Then our u is equal to x squared plus 1. So we write x squared plus 1, then raised to a power 3 halves, then plus c. And we can rewrite our final answer in terms of radical. So we can uh, transform this expression with rational exponents in terms of radical so that we will come back to the format like in the given. So we know that 3 over 2 is just equal to 3 times 1 half. Right? So we can then write this as x squared plus 1 then put this inside the parenthesis then raised to a power 3 okay so this power 3 is this one then put this inside the radical then plus c by the way this is two third huh? two third multiplied by this radical or we can rewrite this also as 2 over 3 times uh, the square root of x squared plus 1, then our exponent 3 can be here, then plus c. Okay? So, either of this or this one could be your final answer. Okay? So, that is our first example. And I will show you the next examples in the next videos. Okay? So, that's all for now. Bye.